client once told me he wants the colors of his website to be a fun, cool, witty purple. So as always, I just started looking for inspiration to create mood boards. He thought the purple in one of the designs looked good, so I just spent hours coming up with a palette, completing the UI with it, creating components and everything, only for him to say... Are you serious right now, bro? That made me think. Is there a way we can simplify this whole process? Color design is such a challenge. You gotta spend hours just searching, ideating, justifying your color choices, trying a few designs out, and using those colors in your code. And after all of this, you realize the website colors on desktop look nothing like on your phone because of different screen calibration. Then it hits you. Am I supposed to do this shit all over again? This made me come up with a website that allows you to customize it completely with your own colors and see it on any device so you can immediately make a decision and that's why I called it real-time colors. I initially released it on CodePen and after it appeared on the CodePen newsletter I realized it was time to make it a real website. Colors. They can be so complicated to work with. They have different schemes, you gotta use just enough of them so your design wouldn't look oversaturated. They have different values, blend modes, gradients, animations, it just never ends. To simplify color design for UI once and for all, let's do a real-time color design tutorial. Real time, get it? Step one, look for inspiration and make a mood board. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do it a different way this time. Step one, go on realtimecolors.com and test with everything. Start with the text in the background. Put some neutral colors in there, light mode or dark mode. Add a primary button color, secondary button, and accent. Don't have any special colors in mind? Just press randomize or click on the space bar to spawn random palettes. Need some suggestions? Just go to this page and enter any color. You'll immediately see nine different palettes generated based on nine different color schemes. Each of them show you the possible combinations of various colors with the main one. How are these combinations created? Based on this cool circle called the HSL color wheel. Each degree on this wheel represents a hue. Each hue can get lighter or less saturated. Our color schemes are created by taking a color and generating combinations with it based on certain patterns. For example, if it's monochromatic, we'll just take one hue and choose a random lightness and saturation for it. If it's analogous, we'll take the adjacent hues. If it's complementary, we'll take the colors on the opposite side. And if they're shades, we'll just make the main color darker. And so on. For your website, you could use one of these palettes or several ones together. Split, complementary, square, and compound usually have the most vibrant colors. And now that you have some suggestions, just to split the screen, grab the eyedropper tool, and start picking colors out. If you have any photos you want to use on your site, you can also take your colors from that photo. The great thing about this is that you can generate themes with it as well. Like, how would your website look like with a dark blue theme or a dark green theme or a light orange theme and so on. Step two, export the colors. There are three ways here. One, just download the palettes and the codes. Two, share the link with someone or open the link to that page on another device. Three, import the palette on Figma through the plugin. Just open this plugin, grab the address, paste it here, and there you go. You have a palette now. Step three, design with the colors. Now let's say you're importing these colors on Figma. In that case, you can quickly make styles from them by clicking on the squares, then this little sign, press on the plus sign, choose a name, and save it. Then on your design, just click on the color style from the library you just created. Now every time you change a color style, all all the elements in the design with that style will change too. Step 4. Use them in the code. You can just create variables at the beginning of your CSS file. Name them, copy the values in any unit you want, hex, RGB, or HSL, then apply them on any element you like. Hex values are shorter and easier to use, RGB values allow you to add opacity to any color, and HSL values allow you to make them darker or lighter for effects like this. If you want to add themes in your code the simplest way, you can just define them in your CSS, and in JavaScript, you can add a simple function that uses conditions to switch between different themes. Even after all of this, we still have some unresolved mysteries. How should you incorporate these colors in your own design? To do this, we go by the 60-30-10 rule. This rule states that in your designs, you should use 60% of a neutral color like the background color, 30% secondary color, and 10% accent color. If you're choosing three colors, the distribution should be like this. And if you're choosing four, five, six, or more colors, just divide each section between them like this. The second point is, do the colors match your industry or field? Just 
just imagine if a cryptocurrency website looked like this. Color psychology can help you with that. For example, yellow can make us feel optimistic and energetic, blue feels trustworthy, purple feels sophisticated, orange feels innovative, black feels elegant, green feels hopeful, and red feels excited. So just check if your colors give the impression you want them to. After all of this, you finally have mastered color design. Now you can go outside and look at anything and immediately say the hex value of its color. Now you can finally beat the HSL color difference game. Now, instead of them asking you to design a color palette for them, you ask them to show you what they want. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you do your magic down there. Let me know what you'd like me to explore next and see you on the next one.